everybody, it's Roger, <clears throat> Roger's Reviews. And um, yesterday, uh, my mom picked up her Model Y standard range. And um, <clears throat> I took it out yesterday. I checked for panel gaps. Um, I'm gonna do a review later on that. Um, everybody's talking about sleeping in their Model Y or stretching out and being able to get comfortable. Well, I went to a, a supercharger last night and it was getting kind of late and I said, you know what? I gotta sit here for about an hour or so. I'm gonna go ahead and crawl back. I got some pillows and blankets and kind of laid back in the back and seeing if I could get, get a nap. And uh, you definitely need some type of foam or a little mini mattress or inflatable mattress or something because the uh, the back of the seats are not padded <laughs> so it's like laying on uh, hard cardboard or something like that so you definitely if you plan on taking trips in your Model Y or you plan on uh, taking a nap or sleeping in your car you definitely want to get um, that sleeping package or or have something with some cushion so you can lay on also, too, I'm only like 5'10", and my head hits the seats and my toes hit the back of the car. So if you're over 5'10", you're probably going to be cramped up a little bit. So the only way to <clears throat> uh, eliminate that would be there's a gap between the seats when they're folded down and the front seat. So if you put those seats all the way up and maybe shove some pillows in there, or maybe if the mattress goes further than those seats... He might give you a little extra headroom, but uh, I had the seats in the upright position. Um, the front seats, I didn't have them pulled forward. I had them in driving position. So uh, if you have a way or a mattress that can kind of uh, bridge that gap between the edge of the uh, back seats and the, the front seats, give you that few more inches of clearance so you can comfortably lay down and stretch out I would recommend that so definitely uh, don't recommend um, doing this without a mattress or some type of uh, uh, foam uh, maybe even one of those uh, egg crates uh, those little roll-up foam things you can get but I'm gonna check into uh, getting a mattress for the back um, also too you need something compact so you can fold it up um, the the area underneath uh, where the normally gas tank, that big hole, that's perfect for pillows. So you can put like three or four pillows in there and some blankets. And then also to the front up front is pretty deep. You can put two or three pillows up there. So you got plenty of storage for pillows and blankets. Um, I'm just not too sure about the mattress, how they do that. So anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to give that quick little uh, Experience. I know people are thinking about, you know, taking naps or traveling or uh, taking long trips and being able to sleep in their car. Uh, you definitely want to try it out first <laughs> before you uh, take a long drive and try to get comfortable because there, there's some preparations and some things you need before you uh, try to sleep in the back of the car. But the uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, also, too, you might need something to block the windows because most of these superchargers are well lit so there's going to be a light, lot of light coming in the car so uh, you might want to take uh, you know some extra pillows or something with you or something dark uh, basically what I did is I took the pillows and I put them uh, in the window and I rolled the window up so it held the pillows where the light was coming in the most there's not a lot of light coming through the top because it's tinted but the windows aren't tinted yet so you either want to get dark tint or you want to have something to cover up that light coming through the windows. So anyway, that's my short little review. Um, if I order the mattress set or whatever, the camping set, um, I will definitely give a description of that and which one I buy <clears throat> and if it's comfortable or not. So anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews on the Model Y. And uh, we just got it yesterday, so there will be a lot more coming it was the cheapest least expensive model y you could get for $39.95 <clears throat> but we did get the tow package and we also got the uh, self-driving but if you're interested in getting the least expensive model y also too it's very quick 
it's a lot faster than I thought. So if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe, and I'll bring you more about our new Model Y. Have a great day.